if they're active defenders, all of this is very difficult. You will get swarmed after your first shot is fired. Use extreme stealth when setting up. I use an ant with vehicle stealth and cloak. I use Starker Infiltrator when building. Sometimes I set my ant up pretty far away so the enemy can't find it when they drive a lightning around the base looking for me. Modules need a silo for power. Doesn't matter if it's a friendly silo or an enemy silo. Modules don't care where the power comes from. And silos don't check to see if a module is friend or foe. Install modules and towers within range of an enemy base. There's a yellow ring around all silos that show how far that silo will po power modules. Build modules within that yellow ring. I usually build modules against the outside walls of enemy's base. You can build towers and modules right inside the base if there's space and the enemy aren't paying attention. The first items I build are repair and turret artificial intelligence. Modules are much harder to see than towers, so I build all modules first. I build an anti-infantry tower to protect my modules or to cover enemy spawn points, either Sundays or spawn tube. To kill enemy modules, I put up the short anti-vehicle turret. Keep it in range of your repair module. It's much harder to kill if it's continually being repaired. Blow up enemy modules first. Repair, turret AI, sky shields, structure shields. All enemy turrets can be used to destroy your equipment. Uh, kill the anti-vehicle turret first as it does the most damage. Even though this video didn't show it, this base was loaded with modules when I arrived. My shadow play only records the last five minutes of play and I forgot to save it as, as I was going. This is my first base takedown using parasitic construction. Let me know of anything else you see that I could be doing.